Let us play Battle for Wisnuf. Uh, <coughs> and I'll be reading what little history is. Uh, is there is uh, be before before the campaign uh, <coughs> campaign's timeline. Uh, we are about to uh, play. <coughs> Did that even make sense? Anyway, uh, prehistory, the founding of Vesnov. During the age of the founding of Vesnov, there were two important geographic locations, these being the Green Isle and the Great Continent. Hordrick is the main historical figure at this time. This age ends with the founding of Vesnov as a great. As a great uh, con country in the great continent and with uh, orcs attacking both elves and and men from the sea prehistory elves and dwarfs inhabit the gre great continent and nothing is said uh, they, they come from they just inhabit the great continent nothing else no mystery there <laughs> well uh, it uh, really bugs me uh, that there isn't uh, <coughs> any uh, any prehistory, you could say, to the best enough. There are, uh, there are some interesting uh, bits and pieces in the best enough's history, but uh, well, <laughs> it seems that. <sighs> the uh, uh, races just appear, <laughs> and that's uh, not uh, uh, not a good storytelling. Harg, 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 harg. If you ask me, uh, <clears throat> humans inhabit the distant west. Hordrick's people colonize the Green Isle from the continent further to the west, 200 before Westnoff. The Lich Lords uh, arrive on the Green Isle uh, after losing a war in the distant west. Uh, after a long war, Holdrick's people come to uh, dominate the Green Isle. The West Folk and the Lich Lords are pushed onto marginal lands. Uh, the Prince of South Bay discovers the Great Continent on uh, 12 B before Westnoff. The Crown Prince makes several voyages between the Green Isle and the Great Continent. Six before Westnoff. Following these voyages to the Great Continent, the elder Crown Prince falls ill and dies. His younger brother is Im implicated in a plot to kill him. As a distraction, the younger prince starts a war with the Westfolk and the Lich Lords. Uh, I, well, I thought that uh, Westnoff wasn't yet founded, yet they uh, uh, talk about princes and the crown and uh, such things. Uh, hmm. well, there is nothing said about the... <coughs> said where they come from. Anyway... Uh, as a distraction, the younger prince starts a war with the West Folk and the Lich Lords. The Lich Lords sense they will be destroyed and open gates to the homeland of the Orcs in the West. The Green. 5 to 2 before Westnoff. The Green Isle is overrun with Orcs. The West Folk des desert the, the Lich Lords as they be fear becoming prey for the Orcs. Holdrick leads the ev evacuation of the survivors to the Great Continent. The rise of Vesnov begins, and uh, uh, so begins our... Let's check it's uh, recording my audio, <laughs> you never know. And so begins my... Uh, I shouldn't say let's play because it uh, uh, it's in the verbum uh, form there and i really hate how people use uh, that uh, <coughs> incorrectly so uh, i'll just use the term commentary of this game 
Hark, hark, hark. Suffer those who uh, would uh, rather miss you. Should I play the tutorial so you will see? Mm, yes, let's play the tutorial first. <laughs> I'm very indecisive about the <laughs> things. I was so sure that uh, I was going to play, uh, play that campaign, but... <laughs> I can't just uh, uh, just leave you uh, without in any in when without any uh, how should I put it any uh, knowledge of how to play this game and uh, I'm not <laughs> just to. Uh, do I have a die here so that I could uh, see, so that I wouldn't uh, appear uh, gender, uh, what's the word, gender, uh. and yes, I am doing all of this during recording, ha <laughs> ha, suffer. Yes, I do have a die here. Let's see. Uh, if it's odds, uh, I'll pick Conrad. If it's uh, uh, odds and uh, why can't I remember English that well? Uh, but uh, hmm. let's just say if it's. Uh, uh, under or equal to uh, three, then I'll uh, pick Conrad, and if it's uh, uh, more than uh, or equal to f four, then I'll pick Lisa. It's free, I'll pick Conrad. For this tutorial, you are playing Conrad. You are standing in the keep, and your mentor, Delfado, is on the east eastern side of the river. Learn to learn to uh, learn your grammar yes uh, click a mouse button or press the space bar to continue I think uh, space bar is actually a fast forward key so no I won't press the space bar I want to read all of the dialogue uh, if I press return or well uh, I don't know about the other buttons, but at least the return button will uh, uh, <coughs> make me uh, go forward one uh, bit of uh, one bit of dialogue. Dialogue. <coughs> the Snuff Tutorial Part One. You will learn the basics of movement, attacking, healing, recruiting, victory, destroy a fierce enemy. A fierce enemy. Defeat. Get yourself killed. Go and get yourself killed, Weaver. Yes, I'm talking about you uh, on the other side of that screen. <laughs> Left click on Conrad. Who's Conrad? Ah, that person. Uh, no, I can't move. Death door. Okay, Conrad. You have selected Conrad. Uh, we, we place to see him move uh, to our uh, highlighted. Move to R. Uh, is that correct? Uh, he can move R highlighted. I'm not sure if uh, if he too is necessary in this uh, context. Uh, <coughs> move Conrad next to Delphador by clicking on the tile marked here. Uh, <coughs> oops, you. It registered it as. <sighs> Two clicks. Strange. Even though I pr pressed only once. Is my mouse faulty or something? Oops, you moved to the wrong place. Uh, place after this message. You can uh, press U to undo, then try again. Start again. U. Yeah, what a pleasant exercise, yeah. How friendly they were all being. After a, me, uh, after a few moments, the viewer noticed a line of gentlemen with rifles. They were looking in each direction. 
the viewer looked around but could not see the target. Conrad, good morning, Delphidor. Is it time to attack things? Uh, I'm pretty sure I had some... Uh, uh, well, we'll just... Uh, I'll just wait until we are in the main game and then I'll uh, talk to my heart's content about stuff. Uh, um, well... Should I try to voice, uh, voice act? Uh, Conrad is pretty young at this uh, stage, so... Have you found an orc for... Well, that's pretty unbearable. <sighs> but I thought that would be pretty funny if I used a high-pitched voice. <laughs> like that. Uh, <clears throat> uh, sorry, I uh, hit the mi microphone. Um, let's see. We'll sit here for five minutes uh, while uh, Mikko M M M is uh, <coughs> Spiffnum is. <laughs> I almost forgot what I uh, I'm uh, uh, now named uh, uh, Spiffnum on YouTube. Uh, <coughs> is trying to uh, come up with a voice for Conrad. Um, oh, <coughs> How the fu yeah. <laughs> yes, that's so funny, so I will just use that voice. <laughs> Have you found an orc for me to fight? Ha! A troll! For a young person, of course, so it, it is very funny. Isn't it? Just laugh, you people! I said you should laugh, laugh, laugh! I am always funny! Ah. Quiet, I... Uh, uh, oh, of course, I should come up with a different voice for Delphido. Quiet! <sighs> no, no. Quiet! Shh! Quiet! Quiet! Mustn't wake them! Mustn't ruin it! Now! But they knows! They knows! They suspect us! What's it saying, my precious, my love? S Smeagol losing his nerve. Yes, I'll, do, I'll use <laughs> Golem voice for Delphido. Quiet, I will summon an enemy for you. Uh, uh, with Quintain. Well, uh, my voice, uh, voice acting skills for Gollum seem to have deteriorated, uh, but uh, anyway. Quentin, you want me to fight a dummy? You have, you have 32 hit points and a sword. Uh, that doesn't sound like Gollum at all. Uh, You have 32 hit points and a sword. Precious. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm fairly sure, I'm fairly sure you'll win. Go on, go on. Attacking. To attack the Quintain, first select the attacker, Conrad, and then the target, the Quintain. You will see an uh, attack description. When you click OK, Conrad will attack. <laughs> click on the Quintain to attack it. Oh, obviously. Uh, by the way, this is a hex uh, system, so I can move uh, uh, diagonally... No, I mean up or down or to northwest or northeast northeast or southwest or southeast uh, so and here we have uh, damage calculations uh, uh, I'm not sure how I, I, I should be 
uh, <coughs> tutorializing here. Anyway, we are using a sword and uh, this Quentin is on the grass and let's see the profile of the Quentin. It has a terrain modifier of uh, is flat, yes, uh, grassland flat. Uh, that uh, thing on uh, inside the uh, epi what was characters called? Uh, 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 whatever was the characters are called. Anyway, uh, Quentin has a terrain modifier of twenty percent on flat, and 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 it has a. Move, movement speed of one and it can't uh, well it can move one uh, uh, one uh, tile uh, on on flat so <clears throat> so my chances of attacking are 100 percent minus the uh, terrain modifier of the Quentin on uh, on this Hex, uh, it, it's on, and it has a be, uh, <coughs> it has be chance chance to counter attack me with its flail uh, of the. Well, it, it has actually a magical weapon, so it always will uh, have the seventy percent uh, chance to hit me. Uh, but if it didn't, uh, then it uh, would have a 60% chance to hit me, since I am also on grassland, am I not? I think I am, uh, and and it uh, in turn has to be chance of, uh, of 100 p p uh, minus uh, my the hex I am on terrain modify of of my character to hit me <coughs> and these damage calculations are pretty handy in that uh, they show uh, the expected battle results for each uh, for the attacker and the defender so the most probable uh, <coughs> result of this uh, attack if I well I don't really have much choice uh, since this is the tutorial and it can't uh, well I only have 12 uh, uh, rounds I wonder what happens if I don't complete uh, it uh, uh, it in that time this in that time uh, so I would most probably uh, Actually, it has a thirty-six percent uh, chance. Uh, <coughs> I would most probably be left with twenty hit points, and the defender, the Quentin, would, uh, on the other hand, have a, a fifty-one point two percent chance to be left with thirty-nine hit points. And let's see. Uh, <coughs> Well, it, uh, it gives me some other information, yes, well, but <coughs> the, this screen here is the most important. Well, it pretty much summarizes all of, all of, well, <coughs> you don't really need to look at this ever, I don't think. If this will do nicely. <coughs> so... Uh, And is there anything else I want to say at this point? No, I don't think so. Hey! Which Quentin fights back? Hey! Perhaps we should have started with a doll! Come, come! Should I retreat? Good idea! 
precious. Crowns. V Tiling the dual crowns above a Delphidor means you will lose the game if he's killed. Um, this thing, it's blue for some reason. Uh, it, it's probably because he's my ally. <coughs> my, my thing is, uh, well, <coughs> all of the... Well, it might be for, uh, because I am the leader of this uh, side, but... Uh, But anyway, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, you, you will also lose the game if your leader Conrad is killed. So I, I am a leader. Yes, that, that's pretty obvious. Uh, well, not obvious, obvious uh, because... Well, because you might not uh, know uh, about this game uh, if you are watching this tutorial. <sighs> Unfortunately, you have used up your turn during the attacking the Quentin. The Quentin now gets to attack. The dummy gets a turn. Yes, precious. It's a magical Quentin. Now, this Quentin gets five chances to hit you for three damage each. If it hits every time, you drop from 26 to 11 hit points. Praise yourself. Go, go. And turn. Uh. Ouch! I need to eat. On, only 28 points left. I speak very far, far Yes, precious. There is a village on the other side of the river. Go, go. Visiting villages is, is a good idea, precious. And ending your turn in one will heal you. Terra village. Hmm. Well, let's just do how the tutorial tells me to. Villages, you have captured a village. It now flies your flag and has been added to your total village count. The house icon at the top of the screen shows how many villages you currently control. Villages provide the gold needed to recruit units. Each turn you gain two gold plus one for every village you own. Uh, well, that's not... <sighs> true for well, well that's not true in all cases uh, uh, the campaign uh, scenarios may uh, may change that, that or in the single player uh, I mean uh, the multiplayer uh, well <laughs> Well, you might play the single player also. So, uh, anyway, in the multiplayer uh, screen, you'll have the uh, option to change that uh, income for each player. So, so, in that case, it won't also be in. Uh, it's not always true, but that's what I meant to say. You have captured a village. It now flies your flag and has been added to your total village count. Uh, I read that already. Actually, I could uh, read about these, uh, uh, and you can see that, uh, as you can see, it this can only move one, uh, one tile per turn, as I, as I told you already. But anyway, uh, there are some other things on this screen. <coughs> well, you can see uh, the, hit, the hit points mm, and the description. I, should I read this? Yes, I, I think I should read this because, well, I am uh, a perfectionist like that. Uh, 
uh, I I plan on re reading and doing pretty much everything in everything I do. I record. Quaintons are used to practice sword play and jousting on. It would be extremely unusual to be attacked by one. Special notes. This unit has magical attacks which uh, always have a high chance of hitting, hit, hitting an opponent. <coughs> Fighter. Young and brash. Uh, fighters are skilled with swords and are vulnerable to attack from enemies. However, they have the potential to become great warriors one day. And Elder Mage. Once great, Elder Magi. Hmm, I'm not actually sure how to pronounce that, but I, I believe it's Magi from how it's. <coughs> I guess it's a match I must have seen the power a little diminished from the varying years of battle. Nevertheless, they remain feared on the battlefield on account of the powerful lightning bolts. And they have magical attacks also. And other things on this screen you can see. Uh, have the experience once I get to uh, the maximum I'll actually this doesn't tell me if I uh, <coughs> if I advance to anything but anyway if it, if I would advance to something it would tell me where uh, <coughs> um, and then it's a race is mechanical and it's level one and here's the alignment uh, this quintain uh, is of neutral alignment and it means uh, they are unaffected by day and night fighting equally well under both conditions and yes this game has a day and night cycle uh, Uh, I, for on the other hand, would have a 25% uh, damage boost on a day and 25% damage reduction on night. And uh, here I, you can see my remaining and uh, and of my my full potential of moving. And uh, here is the terrain terrain defense uh, uh, once again <coughs> and I hadn't actually noticed but it uh, also uh, <coughs> tells me where uh, my <coughs> well uh, uh, the uh, place I am on and here's my attacks. Here are my attacks, of course. And uh, this is actually also pretty uh, important to notice this, that uh, you can see that here the damage boosts or reductions I may have against some enemies, but uh, at this point in, in this campaign, uh, because there are only acquaintance and uh, it doesn't well, uh, I don't do any more or less damage to them, uh, that, that I was going to say. But uh, this game also has um, well uh, two ranges, melee and ranged, uh, pretty much, and we'll, uh, we'll get to them later, I'm sure. Uh, and this actually tells me the base damage and uh, what boosts I have. And and it has the game also has damage types and they they and all, all of the all of the units have resistances against those damage types attack types 
uh, I have uh, twenty percent resistance to arcane and no resistance resistances to any others. Uh, so I would get only eighty percent of the damage.